This is one of multiple IP version 6 troubleshooting videos. In this topology, we've been told that router 1 on the left is not able to ping the loopback of router 3 on the right. So let's verify that. Ping 2001 face 3. We're getting an unreachable message. So let's have a look at the routing table. Show IPv6 route. We've got a default route to router 2. So when we use a trace route to that address, notice the traffic gets to router 2 but gets no further. So we're getting unreachable messages. Let's have a look at router 2. Ping 2001 face 3. Notice the output. No valid route for destination. So let's have a look at the routing table. So show IPv6 route. Do you see a route in the routing table for the loopback of router 3? This is a connected and local route. Connected local. There is no static route for the loopback of router 3. This is a static route for the loopback of router 1. So show run pipe include route. So here's the static route to router 1. Here's a default route pointing to router 3. So what do you think is the problem here? We have a static route configured, but it's not showing up in the routing table. What's the problem? Let's have a look at our interfaces. So show IPv6 interface brief. Can you see the problem in this output? Notice gigabit 01 is administratively down. That's a problem. So interface gigabit 01, no shut. Show IPv6 route. Suddenly we see the default route in the IP routing table. And if we ping 2001 face 3, the ping succeeds. On this side, when we do the trace route, notice it succeeds. So router 1 is able to ping the loopback of router 3. Now don't forget, IPv6 is a layer 3 protocol in the same way that IPv4 is a layer 3 protocol. Layer 3 protocols rely on layer 2 protocols and layer 1 protocols. So show CDP neighbors would allow us to verify and check layer 1 and layer 2. And we could also look at the interfaces on the router by using commands such as show interface gigabit 01. That would allow us to check if the interface is up up. Or show IPv6 interface gigabit 01. This would show us whether the interface is up and also allow us to verify IP addresses configured on that interface. One of the hardest parts with troubleshooting networks is to narrow down where the problem is in the network. It could be something as simple as an interface shutdown or a cable that's unplugged or a damaged cable. Higher layer protocols rely on the lower layer protocols. So you need to use the OSI model in your troubleshooting to help you find where the problem is. This wasn't a layer three issue. In other words, it's not a routing issue or an IP version six issue. It was a physical issue. The interface on the router was shut down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.